Hey guys, on? it is me, Bumpy, back on the OBS settings homepage, I guess. I don't even know. But um, in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the settings I use to record my Minecraft videos. And basically, these settings do apply for any gaming content for the most part. Um, and these are just what I use to record my videos. And I think the quality is pretty good. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll just go through here and see what I have. Okay, so starting off in the general tab, there's not much you need to do here, just the language, basic, just your profile name, all this really doesn't matter. The only thing is just to enable the cursor over the project, just check that. Um, and most of these settings will just be, you know, automatic and will, like, already be set when you get OBS or if you have it. So, yeah, moving on to the encoding tab, um, this... Uh, section is pretty important so I use the X264 encoder um, don't have this checked uh, the quality balance is 10 max bit rate 7500 same with the buffer size uh, and just all this down here you can copy that as well moving on to the broadcast settings this is where your videos will basically like go when you are done recording them so you want to have it in file output only if you are recording obviously you'll have it in live stream mode if you are live streaming but I never live stream so just stick with file output only um, the file path this is just what I use to put my recordings in just a recordings folder um, so that's that moving on to the video tab we have um, custom resolution do not use the monitor resolution that sometimes like gets weird when I use that I don't even know what happens but um, just hit custom and you'll want to type in whatever your monitor size is the standard is 1920 by um, 1080 and the aspect ratio is 16 colon 9 um, so just type that in uh, video adapter that's just basically what your adapter is um, resolution downscale just put none and have it at 60 FPS for a good um, recording quality okay so in the audio tab this could vary for what microphone you have and how you want the audio displayed um, but for my audio I use uh, the default desktop audio and then my microphone is the blue Yeti so I just hook it up to that um, so then just have this one unchecked and this one checked um, I don't really know what this does but I just have it like that uh, and then this can basically stay the same I just have the mic um, slash AUX boost up one just to make my um, audio just a little more clear and just a little louder for you guys to hear. All right, moving on into the hotkeys tab. This is basically just if you want to have hotkeys just to, you know, start and stop your recordings easily. So I just leave everything blank except for the start and stop recording. Uh, I just have my start at F12 and stop is F10. Those keys just work for me, so that's just what I have. Moving on to the advanced tab. This is a very important tab, by the way. You want to make sure you pay attention for this one. Um, basically, you can just copy down these checks and unchecks for these boxes. We have this one, this, and this checked, and the rest unchecked. But the main thing is over here. Uh, so I have the process priority class at normal. Um, the scene buffering time is 700 milliseconds. Um, and this is what you want to pay attention to the most is the X264 CPU press it. Uh, I have mine at super fast. That is just what works for me. Um, basically, that determines like your frame rate and how the quality is affected by that frame rate. So I just have mine at super fast. That's what works for me. Um, so yeah, moving on to the encoding profile. Uh, just at high, um, I'm not really sure what the difference is, but mine's just on high. So. Um, yeah, the keyframe interval is 4. Um, this right here is 0. I don't know what that is. Um, the bind interface is default. I don't even know what any of this is. So just keep that at default. And the latency tuning factor is at 20. And the rest of these tabs, these last three, don't really matter. I don't think um, in the quick sync encoder, you can't even change anything in here. So I don't even know what that is. Um, the microphone noise gate, I would just keep it at what the default set is I don't even know um, but the scene switcher this is basically the same as well so that basically wraps it up for the settings um, that's what I use for my um, recordings so if you guys ever want to just record that is the settings I use basically and um, yeah so basically that's gonna wrap it up for this video just wanted to show the settings that I use for you guys and yeah I guess I'll talk to you later have a nice day guys peace out